All right. So I <clears throat> have made a list of all the things that people do when they get into a relationship. And I'm not just talking about women here. I'm talking about men and women. So I narrowed it down to 10. Okay, so number one is when people get in relationships, they no longer want to hang out with your friends. So they just forget about their friends. It's kind of like... Oh, hey, I got a girlfriend, boyfriend, and I don't really need you as a friend anymore, but thanks for being there when I was single. Awesome. Two is when people have to ask their partners if they can go out. Are you serious? You have to ask your freaking partner if you're allowed to go out. I mean, I get it if you're a teenager and you have to ask your parents, but don't ask your partners. Three, if their partners do not like their friends, but they will secretly go out with you. So, you know, they'll let you know, look, oh, my partner really doesn't like you, but I will go out with you on the side and in secret. Just don't tag me in anything. Great. I'd rather just not be your friend. Seriously, that makes people feel like fucking shit. Four. When they start saying, we, like, we don't like this, or we don't like that person, or we don't like this food, we don't like that movie, blah, blah, blah. Um, are you not your own person? Can't you have your own decisions in life? Like, why do you have to say we? <sighs> that it. Uh, five. When people don't want to go out with you without their partners, it's like... So you won't come and see me and you, you, don't, you don't want to hang out with me, but unless your partner is with you. Great. Awesome. Third wheel. Yay. And fuck. Is, are you like so fucking self-conscious or something or don't trust yourself that you can't go out with your friends without your partner? Fuck. Six. When they start dressing exactly like each other and I'm not just talking about how lesbians do that but I'm like talking about girls and guys relationships like I me and my ex used to hang out with these two couple and man they dress exactly to the T like she would be wearing brown shorts to the knees so would he and they'll both be wearing brown sandals and he would wear a blue Superman shirt and she would wear a blue Superwoman shirt it's like um only one of these outfits look good on one person. It's like, again, it's kind of like the whole, we need to copy each other. Ugh. Um, seven. When people break up constantly with each other and then get back together. Like, give it a bone, guys. Like, obviously... You guys aren't working out for a reason. Why do you have to keep torturing yourself to go back to each other? I know the sex may be fantastic and great, but for God's sake, bored now. And especially when they bitch about their partners, which goes on to number nine, actually. When they constantly bitch about their partners, but they're still together. It's like, why are you bitching about your partner? Seriously, what's the point? If you can't communicate and talk to your partner, about certain things that you disagree on. What's the point of being together? Seriously. And if you get shitty with your friends when they bitch about your ex because you guys are broken up, don't be angry with them. Be angry with yourself because you're the one that keeps going back to this person. 10. I mean, partner who's, who, when they're in a relationship, they just like think, the, in this universe and so when they have single friends they always give you this like oh poor you you haven't found a partner yet when do you think you know you'll get into a relationship are you not ready it's like fuck off I don't need that poor you shit and finally this is I mean this is a given partners who constantly fight in front of you it's like okay so I'm feeling uncomfortable. Do, 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 do. Thanks. Great feeling. Ah, hope you like my 
Hej då, vlogg!